Greg Udelhofen with ForeConstructionPros.com. I'm here at World of Asphalt with Eric Baker, Director of Marketing for Rotec. Pretty exciting time here. They're, they've introduced a new technology called AutoCut, which really helps in the, in the uh, milling operation, streamline the whole process. Talk a little bit about that as far as how that works. So what AutoCut does for the operator is, um, in, without AutoCut before, you would manually adjust the machine as it walks into the cut. And if you had to jump over an obstruction like a manhole or something like that, you'd basically have to redo that every time. Um, what AutoCut does is you plunge down into the roadway, cut into it, and then you start walking forward. Well, before you would have had to adjust the rear of the machine to get it back to level as those tracks walk into the cut. Now that's all automated. Mm -hmm. uh, we measure off the uh, uh, sensors on the cutter housing and it adjusts that automatically for the operator. So basically, I mean, primarily when, when you have a, an obstacle, whether it is a crosswalk yeah. or a manhole or anything else, I mean, that took a lot of time yeah. for, for people to yeah. make those adjustments and get back to the production of the milling operation. Yeah, and, it, and I mean, a good operator that's been trained and been doing it for a very long time probably gets very good at it and it's very quick, but um, with newer operators or less skilled or less experienced, uh, now we can make it easier on them as well and, and definitely provide time savings. So what kind of, what kind of the, uh, metrics have you been pulling together so far as far as improving productivity I mean on a, on a typical job there's a lot of variables there but I mean typically you were sort of at the mercy of the ground operator um, so you would walk into the cut a little slower because he's he or she are having to manually adjust that right now you can walk into the cut at a at a faster speed so we, we expect it to be probably a, at least a 30 percent gain in production just in that segment of the application um, once you're milling, it, 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 it operates essentially the same, but if, if it's a very choppy job like city work, this really comes in handy. And the, and the ground operator, when, when they were manually adjusting this thing, they were doing it visually by eye, right. yep. trying to determine whether yep. they were down two inches where they needed to be. Yeah, I mean, to balance out the machine, and you, this will make sure that the machine is kind of in its optimum uh, angle as far as performance. You want the machine as level uh, or um, equal to the surface as possible, um, whereas before you are kind of relying on an operator to do that, so you'd see machines either leaning forward or backward, and mm -hmm. that's not really the most productive way to operate the machine. Well, I appreciate your time, Eric. Appreciate Thanks. it. Yeah, okay. great.